Hello everyone and welcome to the online lecture series by Shet Vidya Mandir English High School and Junior College of Science and Commerce. Myself Jayesh Rajgor and today we are going to discuss chapter number 3B Elasticity of Demand and today's topic of discussion is types of price elasticity of demand. Yes my dear students price elasticity of demand in the previous video lecture we studied about elasticity elasticity means responsiveness of one variable to a change in another variable elasticity of demand refers to the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in its price or any other factor we also saw types of elasticity of demand in which we saw namely three types price elasticity income elasticity and cross elasticity today we will try and understand price elasticity of demand in detail what does price elasticity means according to professor alfred marshall price elasticity of demand is a ratio of proportionate change in the quantity demanded of a commodity to a given proportionate change in its price basically when due to percentage change in price there is a percentage change in quantity demanded it is termed as price elasticity of demand and symbolically ed is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price here are five types of price elasticity of demand namely perfectly elastic demand perfectly inelastic demand unitary elastic demand relatively elastic demand and relatively inelastic demand these are the five types of price elasticity remember my dear students in all these five types the change in demand comes because of proportionate change in price we are here to study about how much extent the change in demand is so let us begin and study each one of them in detail perfectly elastic demand remember the symbol ed is equal to infinite yes my dear students when a slight or a zero change in the price brings about an infinite change in the quantity demanded of that commodity it is called perfectly elastic demand it is only a theoretical concept yes my dear students a change which cannot be measured a change which is infinite in nature such a change is obviously theoretical for example 10% fall in price may lead to an infinite rise in demand we can't measure that it goes on increasing goes on increasing such a change is an infinite change and thus is termed as perfectly elastic demand in the figure 3.11 you can see x axis and y axis denoting quantity demanded and price respectively you can see the demand curve exactly parallel to the x axis the demand curve is horizontal line parallel to x axis indicating perfectly elastic demand that is infinite demand moving on to the next type perfectly inelastic demand yes my dear students elastic means there is a certain change whereas inelastic means no change we have studied that elasticity means responsiveness but when there is no response it is called as inelastic demand when a percentage change in price has no effect remember my dear students no effect when a percentage change in price has no effect on the quantity demanded of a commodity it is called perfectly inelastic demand for example 20% fall in price will have no effect on quantity demanded it means there is a change in price but there is no change in quantity demanded in figure 3.12 when price rises from op to op1 or when price falls from op to op2 
demand remains unchanged at o q therefore the demand curve is vertical straight line parallel to the y axis indicating no change or we can say no effect which is called as perfectly inelastic demand once again i repeat my dear students there are in all five types perfectly elastic demand perfectly inelastic demand unitary elastic demand relatively elastic demand and relatively inelastic where perfectly elastic means infinite change and inelastic means no change or no effect let us move to the next one unitary elastic demand remember my dear students equal to 1 yes when a percentage change in price leads to a proportionate change in quantity demanded then demand is said to be unitary elastic basically equal to 1 for example 50% fall in price of a commodity leads to 50% rise in quantity demanded there was a fall 50% and demand rise to 50% when a price falls from op to op1 that is 50% in the figure 3.13 demand rises from oq to oq1 50% therefore the slope of the demand curve is a rectangular hyperbola and thus it states unitary elastic demand which means ed is equal to 1 moving towards the next one relatively elastic demand yes my dear students when a percentage change in price leads to more than proportionate change in quantity demanded remember the word more yes my dear students ed is greater than 1 yes or we can say ed is more than 1 for example 50% fall in price leads to 100% rise in quantity demanded yeah over here you can see that price falls by 50% but demand rises by 100% in figure 3.14 when price falls from op to op1 that is 50% demand rises from oq to oq1 that is a huge one of 100% therefore demand curve has a flatter slope which means relatively elastic demand remember my dear students more change moving on to the next one relatively inelastic demand this one is exactly the opposite of the previous one ed less than 1 when a percentage change in price leads to less than proportionate change in quantity demanded yes my dear students remember the word less than proportionate change the demand is said to be relatively elastic inelastic for example 50% fall in price leads to only 25% rise in quantity demanded the quantity rises but less than the proportionate change in quantity demanded and thus in figure 3.15 when price falls from op to op1 that is 50% demand rises from oq to oq1 25% therefore the demand curve has a steeper slope so in this way my dear students we can easily understand all the five types perfectly elastic means ed is equal to infinite perfectly inelastic here we saw no effect that is no change similarly unitary elastic ed is equal to 1 means equal similarly relatively elastic where more than proportionate change and relatively inelastic less than proportionate change so in this way we today have understood the five types of price elasticity of demand it is very important to make diagrams clearly so here are all the five diagrams which you need to make a note of ed is equal to infinite ed is equal to 0 ed is equal to 1 ed greater than 1 and ed less than 1 hopefully this video was helpful stay connected stay safe thank you very much
हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज बाय शेट विद्या मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज ऑफ साइंस एंड कॉमर्स माय सेल्फ जयेश राजगोर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड इकोनॉमिक्स चैप्टर नंबर थ्री बी इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड यस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड द लॉ ऑफ डिमांड वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय प्रोफेसर अल्फ्रेड मार्शल in his book principles of economics which was published in 1890 the law explains the functional relationship between price and quantity demanded it clearly stated that other things being equal higher the price of commodity smaller is the quantity demanded and lower the price of a commodity larger is the quantity demanded somewhere or the other the chapter explained us about the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded but my dear students in the previous chapter where we already studied the law of demand which showed us the inverse relationship between quantity demanded and price of a commodity it does not explain the extent of a change in demand due to change in price yes to understand the extent it is essential to understand the concept of elasticity thus law of demand fails to explain the quantitative relationship between price and quantity demanded therefore professor alfred marshall explained the concept of elasticity of demand yes my dear students the term elasticity indicates responsiveness and this responsiveness is essential to understand demand and concepts of demand completely here we can see some details about the concept of elasticity of demand the term elasticity indicates responsiveness of one variable to a change in other variable elasticity of demand refers to the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in its price or any other factor yes my dear students we have seen that various factors are responsible for change in demand but how much the demand changes to these factors or to the change in these factors thus understanding the concept of elasticity is essential according to professor marshall elasticity of demand is great or small according to the amount demanded which rises much or little for a given fall in price and quantity demanded falls much or little for a given rise in price thus it is clear from the above definition that elasticity of demand is a technical term basically my dear students you need to remember responsiveness like we have a reaction for a certain action similarly demand also reacts or responds to the changes in its price or any other factor thus the responsiveness of change in quantity demanded to fall or rise in its price describes responsiveness or elasticity in other words it is the ratio of percentage change in quantity demanded of a commodity to a percentage change in price it means a certain change in price will definitely bring a certain change in demand here are three important types of elasticity of demand yes namely price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand let us have a look at them individually price elasticity of demand according to professor marshall price elasticity of demand is a ratio of proportionate change in the quantity demanded of a commodity to a given proportionate change in its price you should know positive income elasticity negative income elasticity zero income elasticity similarly somewhere or the other price elasticity is the most most important 
type of price elasticity. Here you need to understand that only and only when there is a change in price, there is a change in demand. When due to change in price, there is a change in demand, it is termed as price elasticity of demand. The next is income elasticity. It refers to the degree of responsiveness of a change in quantity demanded to a change in the income only. Here, price and other factors including price remain unchanged. So basically, my dear students, in price elasticity, because of price, there is a proportionate change in demand. Whereas in income elasticity, there is a change in consumer's income, which creates a change in quantity demanded. Suppose if the income rises, the consumer might demand more of a commodity. Whereas if income decreases, the consumer might reduce his or her demand. Moving on to the third one, it is cross elasticity of demand. Now this is regarding complementary goods or substitute goods. My dear students, this is completely about the goods which are complementing each other or are relatively substitute to each other. It refers to a change in quantity demanded of one commodity due to a change in the price of other commodity. Yes. If a price of certain commodity changes, it, may, it might lead to a change in demand for the other product. So, such instance leads to cross elasticity of demand. Here is a symbolical representation of these three types. You can see price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price. Similarly, income elasticity of demand means it is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in income. These are the two important factors you need to always remember. When due to percentage change in price there is a change, it is price elasticity of demand. When due to percentage change in income there is a change, it is income elasticity of demand. And lastly, cross elasticity. When percentage change in quantity demanded of product A leads to a change because of the percentage change in price of B. So here, cross elasticity is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded of A upon percentage change in price of B. So in this way, my dear students, we can conclude Elasticity means responsiveness. Responsiveness to the change in various factors which lead to change in quantity demanded. Namely, price, elasticity of demand, income, elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand.